Excellencies, distinguished participants, it's a pleasure for me to deliver this message at this important event. I would like to thank UNCTAD uh, for hosting this event at the 74th Executive Session of the Trade and Development Board. In particular, I would like to thank Ms. Rebecca Greenspan, Secretary General, General of UNCTAD, for your leadership in championing uh, of disability inclusion and trade. It is crucial that this issue is addressed at the multilateral level. Ladies and gentlemen, this event is particularly important as to date uh, there is very little information or research available on persons with disabilities in the context of trade. Inclusive trade initiatives have in recent years made significant progress to improve the participation of women and young people in trade opportunities. However, disability inclusion receives only limited attention in these initiatives. Likewise, initiatives focusing on disability inclusion tend to overlook issues related to trade. This is surprising as persons with some form of disability account for some 15 percentage of the world's population or around 1 billion people. Clearly, the UN SDGs that underscore the importance of leaving no one behind cannot be met if the rights of persons with disabilities are not adequately addressed also in trade-related initiatives. To address these issues, the Ministry for Foreign Affairs commissioned a study to increase knowledge and awareness of the multiple ways in which international trade affects the rights and well-being of persons with disabilities. The study was prepared by Dr. Mar Marcia Fontana and Professor Sophie Mitra. They have undertaken a huge task in outlining the key issues involved in disability-inclusive trade to deepen our understanding on how trade integration impacts persons with disabilities. Today we are fortunate to learn more about the key findings on their work. We also have a very impressive panel to discuss the topic. Dear colleagues, allow me to say a few words on Finland's approach to disability inclusion. Rights and inclusion of persons with disabilities are a long-standing priority in Finland's foreign security development and humanitarian policies. Finland recognizes disability as a human rights issue. Our aim is to eliminate barriers to full, effective and meaningful participation of persons with disabilities in society on an equal basis with others. Finland's development policy priority on equality of persons with disabilities is based on its overreaching obje objective to reduce poverty and in inequality in order to achieve the SDGs. The principle of leave no one behind is inherent in the implementation of the development policy. I am pleased that we are now expanding our work and taking a closer look at disability inclusion in trade. In closing, I would like to wish you excellent discussion on disability inclusive trade. I look forward to seeing this topic become more prominent in the multilateral trading system. Thank you.